We'll meet you at the plaza. I'll be the man in the corner smoking two cigarettes. When we did research about the period, the plaza was absolutely the place that anyone who was anybody met. We'll get a great big room at the plaza, a bucket of ice, a bottle of whiskey, and it will be fun. Baz felt it was very important to use the plaza as a geographical landmark. You have the link between crossing the Queensborough Bridge, Times Square, and directly in front of Queensborough Bridge, you have the plaza. It was one of the very, very early scenes in the workshop process that we got to read and we started to explore. We actually, some of the first ever 3D tests I did in New York, in our office in New York. What's so funny is I'm shooting in the corner of my office and real New York is out there and it really looks 2D and I'm going like, oh, this is a problem. It, it looks like a bad painted backdrop. The real New York, it was a heat wave. And our offices were kind of concrete and big, but the air conditioning was broken. And I had all these actors there for the first time all meeting and they're totally out of their mind with heat. So I had this idea, I said, go and get buckets of ice. We had to do a reading. And all the girls put their feet in these buckets of ice and they all, and we wafted over these buckets of ice and fans. So I actually put that idea into the plaza scene where they were bringing up ice and fans just to cool down because it's the hottest day of the year and everyone's so hot and claustrophobic and there's no air conditioning. And so the scene begins with Tom Buchanan like cracking the ice and you think, you know, is he gonna use that ice pick? We went to the plaza and asked them to be involved and they've been very generous partners. We've been allowed to use their logo. Obviously, we lent greatly on historical research and photos of the interior, but we have taken some liberties with the way that the panelling is dealt with in the room. So it's a lot darker and moodier than it probably would have been in the 1920s. The exterior of the building is absolutely historically correct and it's one of the New York landmarks today and as it was in the 1920s. Mr Gatsby, exactly who are you anyhow? We had a really incredible time as a cast, I think with all five of us in the, when we shot the Plaza Suite scene because um, it was so contained. Uh, and we spent days on, on coverage and then right at the end Baz put cameras outside all of the windows and so it was just us five actors in the set and it was closed off, we couldn't see anyone, crew or lighting or anything. And we were just surrounded in that world and, and couldn't see any hints of 2011. You couldn't see any cameras, you couldn't, you know, you were just wearing the costumes and in the room and suddenly it really did feel that real. I want to ask Mr. Gatsby one more question. Oh, please, please go on, Mr. Buchanan, go on. What kind of a row? Are you trying to cause in my house anyhow? Joel came in and he's really a dynamo in this movie. I mean, he really, it's almost like he's um, channeling a silverback gorilla or something like that Let's in some go. of these sequences. And it really makes for a great confrontation at the end in the plaza sequence with Jay and, and, and Tom Buchanan because here are these two men that are, you know, it, as much as it's about Daisy, it's also about their manhood. The only respectable thing about you, old sport, is your money. Your money, that's it. I have just as much as you, that means we're equal. Oh, no, no. Two rams butting heads over this woman. Girl like this. You shut up! Shut up! You shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Kid Jay was trying to be a gentleman about the situation, but the fire that was sort of brewing beneath him, 3D, and from just from a dramatic perspective, is used quite brilliantly in it. And so that's was that was a whole other exciting element about you know, doing this film in 3D with Baz. It was sort of one of the most extraordinary experiences I've had working, let alone on this film, but it will definitely stay with me.